the state of California purchased the property in 2000. They enclosed it to the public in 2006 to construct the trail, which include the staircase. The visitor center was created by the San Diego based Safety Rabinus architect. The park reopened to the public back in 2009 with 282 unique irregular steps made from recycled concrete found in on the park. The Culver City offers intense workout. You can climb to the top and see panoramic overlook, amazing views of LA, Hollywood, Santa Monica, Marina del Rey, Palos Verdes, San Gabriel Mountains, just to mention a few. It is a large park. You can hike, kids can play soccer, baseball. There is many fields. Uh, there are also uh, the Rock and Roll Adventure, a company that works with a large group for birthday or for fun. This expansive natural landscape has allowed for a dense population of rodents, rabbits, and others. Today, small mammals that remains are considered generalist species that can thrive in human dense area. Therefore, you can see when you go hiking, uh, the packet gophers, you can see the desert cottontail rabbits. You can also see in this video the eastern fox squirrel eating the apple. There it is. There you can see the girl in uh, rock and roll adventures and see how much fun that is. Culver City Park is located on 6300 Helsinger Road, Culver City, California. 90232 On the other side you can see the Baldwin Hill scenic overview
if you go through the um, Baldwin Hills uh, overlook you can park um, on a very busy intersection it's called Jefferson Boulevard and then hype all the way to the top You can have a wonderful time without paying anything. In this place also we, at the end you will see a dog park if you have your doggies. That's a nice place for them to play around. There they are playing. See how much fun they're having? They have like two different areas. The first part are the small dogs and the second part are the bigger dogs. You can also park in this area and go up through the other side. Don't forget to subscribe.